Ladies and gentlemen, there is serious panic in the government. After Raila entered his head in William Samuel Ruto's government, he now wants half of his body inside the government. Niyale ya gamia kuigiza kichwa Hatimae akaigiza mwili wote na ikawa vigumu kumtoa mle dani mwenyuba. Ladies and gentlemen, Raila wants half of the principal secretaries. Indeed, Raila is demanding 20 positions of the principal secretaries. Raila is demanding half of the ambassadorial positions, half of the parasoto heads, and any other place that William Samorito can make changes. This is what is causing jitters in William Samorito's government. This is what is giving uh, the principal secretaries sleepless nights. Raila is saying that he can only work effectively with William Samuel Ruto when he has <laughs> half of the government. So, Tiga, limeigia dani ya nyuba sasa. Tiga, limeigia ikulu. Tiga has remained now a center of power in this country. When this happens, ladies and gentlemen, there is bound to be a number of implications. And it is these implications that I want us to look in this morning video. What does it mean for Raila to have half of the government? Atuachane sasa na wale mwaziri sijui wali kuwa sita bao Raila Kapewa na William Samuel Ruto. What does this mean politically? Number one in my view. Ruto will continue to make forays in the opposition stronghold. Ruto will become somehow acceptable in the opposition crowd. Ruto will capture some territories that previously belonged to Raila Amor Odega because there are those who feel that Raila is always right and they have to move with Raila Amor Odega and therefore accept uh, William Samoy Ruto. Number two in my view is that William Samoy Ruto is also likely to lose some ground also. Because uh, you know what will happen is that um, most likely those PSs from Nyanza and uh, yeah, most likely from Lu Nyanza and Kisi most likely if they are fired Raila will bring his own. And there are also those who belong to, who are aligned to Gashagwa, others aligned to Madabadi, others aligned uh, to uh, Weta. And it means that um, if they are fired, William Samuelito will lose some ground. And then the entry of Fred Amoro Diga in the government, it means the role of the uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary is diminished. The inference of Wetagula is watered down. So this is how maybe those who were supporting William Samoruto uh, because of Mudavadi or Weta, uh, this is how they are going to drift away from William Samoy Ruto, including Ashagwa himself. Because you see, if William Samoruto is going to surrender half of his uh, government to uh, uh, Tiga, it means also Ashagwa will also lose some areas. The other thing is that um, Raila will remain the most powerful politician in Kenya today and actually in the government. Raila will be a center of power and you see we have seen many leaders going to Raila Molodiga. We have seen people going to Capitol Hill. Why do they are going there? They are going there to plead with Raila Molodiga. They are going there, uh, maybe to ask Raila Amor Odega, maybe to uh, switch talk the president 
so that they are not fired. We have even seen the principal secretaries going to pay, <laughs> to pledge their royalty to Raila Amor Odega. So Raila will remain very, very powerful. The other thing is that um, William Samuel Ruto will have what he call a super majority in the government. And once you have a super majority in the government, this is good on the part of the government, but dangerous on the part of the people. Dangerous because any government bill will pass without opposition. In fact, Raira and Ruto can change the constitution. They can make a lot of amendments in the constitution. Meaning, unless uh, we talk about the amenity clause that were referred to as a, 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 some clauses in the constitution that cannot be amended unless through referendum, for example, through for example, the structure of, of the executive, for example, the, uh, the position of the prime minister, if you want to put it in, in the government, must go through the referendum. Uh, maybe if you want to change maybe uh, the structure of the government, you have to go through the uh, referendum. But there are some other areas that just require to that, <laughs> to that majority and the, the, the bills are passed and become law. So it means the government will have its way in parliament. And it is good because also if the bill that is coming before parliament is good, it will be half, uh, they need to benefit uh, the people. The other thing is that um, <clears throat> Ruto uh, is actually gaining ground, if you ask me. Ruto is gaining ground. Hapo Beleni, especially before the Gen Z, when during the Gen Z, Ruto was very, very unpopular. He could not even leave the country as he's doing now. Because I understand from Rwanda, he's going to camp in Kisinyanza. He's going to camp there for several days. So this means that um, William Samurto is gaining ground. Again, when I look at um, uh, Azmio, Azmio is on his deathbed. Yesterday uh, in Vika, Kalonzo Musioka and Babayao were indirectly attacking Raila Morodega. They were telling him to see whether he is with the people or against the people. So this one tells you, uh, Azmio is on its deathbed. And uh, the other thing is that um, uh, we are clear to see a lot of developments in ODM stronghold. Remember these people have gone there with a mission. Remember these people have joined the government with a certain mission. I don't think they are just joining the, the government. Because in politics, there are no coincidences. In politics, it's just a matter of planning and maybe even ex uh, having expected outcomes. So these guys, I believe they are not just going there. They, they, they are going there with a mission. Either they want to uh, uh, make uh, or bring a lot of development. You know, in, the problem is with us Africans, we believe that... Um, Development can only come when you are in government. But truth be told, when you are given an influential docket, or when you become powerful and influential in government, you are likely also to influence development. It happened during Kibaki's time. Those people who are given um, influential dockets, they were able to influence policies, and a lot of development was realized. The other thing is that um, this one is going to either break or make Raila Morodika. His career could be in jeopardy. He could also succeed in a way never seen before. Because, for example, if the economy improves, the credit will go to Raila Morodika. If John Badi fails, Raila Morodika and ODM will be blamed. And that is what William Samoruto wanted. So, it is something, something that uh, is a two-edged sword. It can either cut the meat and uh, ensure the survival of Raya Amoro Diga, what were they kula, where they kula ile minofu ya nyama. But on the other hand, ile nyama 
yaweza ikamnyoga ko na ikamua politically that is my take ladies and gentlemen as such i request you one thing please like this video and if you have enjoyed the video please let me know also let me know the a topic you'd like us to address have a blessed day bye bye